We're gonna perform pails and rails for internal rotation in sundial position. Being in the sundial position, for some people is much easier than 90-90 because it creates less shearing on the knee, okay? So the initial position is you wanna take a pad, put it under the knee to make sure that it's nice and comfortable. Then we can grab a box, a bench, squat rack or a dumbbell to make sure that the foot doesn't slide. I'm in a position like I'm about to propose somebody and when I'm in this position what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck my pelvis so posterior pelvic tuck squeeze my glutes then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna rotate as far back as I can some people are a little bit tighter so maybe just a little rotation right here will automatically make you feel a stretch if you're a little bit more flexible you'll be able to go further you're trying to challenge how far you can go without bending at the hip right here and extending through the hip as much as it can, all right? So one we, once we're in this position, we're gonna hold this for two minutes. When we're holding for two minutes, we're concentrating on the parasympathetic breathing, meaning we inhale three to four count, exhale for six to eight count. That is gonna allow to open up the tissues responsible for internal rotation more efficiently. And then we'll be able to get deeper to the capsule much easier because we're going to break through that stretch barrier more efficiently and then we'll be able to access the tissues that are the deepest to the joint okay so after the two minutes when i stay in this position you see if i continue rotating i feel my leg is trying to go into this direction but the box is not allowing to happen after two minutes, we're gonna perform pails and rails. So the pails contraction is gonna look like this. You're gonna take this foot and drive actively into here. Before we do so, I wanna make sure that we trap the air into the stomach, contract it, and then we're gonna start increasing the tension gradually. We're not just gonna go like this quick. We're gonna gradually start increasing the tension. We're gonna ramp it up 20, 40, 60, 80 to the 100. You wanna to get to the safest maximum voluntary contraction. So I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna actively drive. This is not easy, you're gonna tense up your whole body. It's gonna be very challenging. This is gonna be very, very uncomfortable. And then when we finish the contraction about eight to 10 seconds, we're gonna to try to take this foot and lift it off. Meaning that I'm gonna to try to rotate in the opposite direction. I might not be able to lift it up, you might not be able to lift it off, but the important part is to make sure that you contract the tissue. So we're gonna try to lift it off as far as we can, we're going for it, going for it. As long as we're contracting while rotating, that's all that really matters. We'll do it for eight to 10 seconds. Once we finish those eight to 10 seconds, we stay in that position and all we concentrate on is 20 to 30 second stretch just to getting deeper into the newly acquired range and just concentrating on that parasympathetic breathing. We're gonna repeat the sequence of pails and rails two more times where you driving into the bench for eight seconds and then pulling away from the bench for eight seconds, anywhere between eight and 10. And then you waiting anywhere between 20 to 40 seconds, just relax to acquire the newly range. Once you do that, you'll notice that you will get access to more internal rotation, but your hip is not gonna feel really happy about it. It's gonna be very challenging, especially if you're using your maximum voluntary contraction. So what I like to do after, once I've finished, I sit down and I test out my internal external rotation and just groove through what I can go through. So now I'm pushing my hip back and then I, go as far as I can and do an axial rotation to test out what has changed and do I have control. I wanna to get to the end range, stay there for a little bit and then come back and go into external rotation. And I'll do that probably anywhere between four to eight reps to make sure that I groove the newly acquired range. So this should really help you out to improve your internal rotation open up the capsule. I hope that helps. Remember, it's not supposed to feel pleasant. You will feel a lot of discomfort, but over time, it will bring you a lot of benefit. Stay fit.